Have you ever seen one of those Kickstarters for a comic book and wondered just how much some of them can make? Well, I'm here today with the answer. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and we're back with another video. This one is going to be a little bit different but it's something that I found really interesting and hopefully you will as well. But recently we saw that Boom Studios announced a new Kickstarter for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics and already it's setting all kinds of records. But let's be honest, that's not that surprising because the tier that most people want starts at $500. But I thought it'd be interesting to sit down, crunch numbers and see which of these Kickstarters are the most successful. And honestly, I thought this was going to be a bit more difficult but you can literally type in most successful comic book Kickstarters and it takes you through to Kickstarter's website and you can just filter it by most funded. But still, you're here so you might as well watch the video. Coming in at number 15 and I know that the title says top 10 but honestly top 10 sounds better than top 15 when it comes to people clicking through to the video. So if anything this video is giving you more than the thing that you click through for so it's like reverse clickbait. But we've got a standalone graphic novel Maddie Once Upon a Time in the Future. This title raised $366,610 from 6,860 backers. And if you're wondering, yes I have done a little bit more legwork because the average per backer there is $53.41. When you put that into comparison, some people don't even want to pay that price for an omnibus. Then at number 14, and I hope that quoting this title doesn't get me demonetized, but it's religion ruining everything since 4004 BC. I believe that this was like a collection of web comics and stuff like that, but this managed to attract 7,119 backers who ended up pledging $377,471. That brings the average peer backer to $53.02. Number 13, we've got Steve Lightman Volume 2. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly but obviously if you've watched any videos before you know it's not really my strong suit. With 6,435 backers they managed to pledge $385,710 which brought the average peer backer to $59.94. Coming in at number 12 is the conveniently placed Girl Genius Volume 12. The Wii also reprints as part of this campaign but it managed to get 4,441 backers who in total pledged $389,079. So this managed to step up the average to $87.61. Number 11 and you're getting your money's worth just from the title alone because it's how to think when you write book dash how to draw books one and two. And don't worry, this is a series that you're going to see frequently throughout this list. It's the reason why I bumped this up to a top 15 because this guy took so many of the top positions. But a total of £305,242 was pledged from 4,233 backers. And don't worry, I'm going to put the currency conversion in dollars down below. But that brought the average per backer to £72.11. And yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, in the UK we have pounds and pence rather than dollars and cents. Now, before we break into the top 10, I want you to comment below how many of these do you think is going to surpass the 1 million dollar mark? And as well, if you're new here, you couldn't join the dog pound at a better time, so get your paws all over that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can make sure that you never miss a video. And if you're enjoying this and you want to see more top 10 lists in the future, please give this a thumbs up. And also, what will greatly help the channel is if you click the subscribe button down below. You can put it in a Facebook group, your Facebook page, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Reddit, send it to your neighbour via text, send your mum a letter via carrier pigeon. But if you can share this video, it is greatly appreciated. I've got my social media links up there, and we've also got our own Reddit page, r slash mad dog comic community. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video, but let's just get into the top 10 that you clicked on this video for in the first place. Number 10, and what would have been last if I was doing the actual title of this video, it's Check Please Year 2. With a decent amount of backers at 5,088, they managed to pledge just under $400,000 because it's $398,520. That means that the average is 78.33. Number 9, and I've put currently because it's probably already changed position by the time that I've filmed, edited, and uploaded this video, but it's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers complete comic book collections. Yeah, this is one of the only ones that I'm tempted to pledge for, but it doesn't look like it actually needs me help because already in less than a week, it's got $414,936 from 796 backers. This has the highest average of any of them on this list at $521.28 per backer. I honestly thought that'd be higher as well because the $500 tier just gets you the books without the slipcase or the acetate. Like if I'm going to pledge for that, I don't just want pretty much the same size book that I can get now already, but with a slightly different cover. I want that slipcase. Then at number 8 there was some kind of website listed and I don't really think that's what anybody's going to click on this video for so I just went to the next legitimate book and it's Come On Comics Volume 1 and this is the first one that's got higher than 10,000 backers because it got 12,261. They managed to break past the half a million mark because it was $501,632 that they ended up pledging. But interestingly enough off this top 15 list it has the lowest 
priced average at $40.91. Number 7, we've got Ava's Demon Reborn, where 6,650 backers managed to pledge $530,310, meaning that the average was $79.75. But with a lower average than that is number 6, because we've got the Tomorrow Girl Dresden Kodak Volume 1, and the average was $70.72. But because it had a higher number of backers at 7,565, they managed to pledge $534,994. Number 5, and I told you this guy would be back on the list, it's how to think when you draw book 2. I actually bothered to convert the currency as well, so we got a total of $647,075 from 7,199 backers. And the average from those backers was $89.88. Number 4, and I'm realising now how few of these titles I've actually ever heard of, it's Control Alt Delete 1.0 the box set. Because this had the highest non-Power Rangers average, because I think Power Rangers is kind of like a given that it's going to have the highest average because of the fact that the tiers are just so highly priced. But this had an average of $119.89 and it had 5,553 backers, which means that the total pledge was $665,725. God, some of these numbers are just crazy to think about and the final three just keep stepping up one over the other. And if you thought I was done with this series, you are completely wrong because getting the bronze medal in third place was how to think when you draw book three. It's also quite interesting how many of these books have like a sequel number, like 12 or three, and they've actually made it into that position on the list. But yes, the third book in this series managed to break all the records of the previous one. It had an average of $87.16. It got 9,029 backers, which meant that he managed to raise $786,930 for the third book in this series. And sure, yes, the runner-up at number two might not have got the number one position, but it managed to get the most backers out of any that are on this list, and it's the first to break the one million pound mark. But it's the Order of the Stick reprint drive, and it managed to get 1.254 million dollars from 14,952 backers, meaning that the average was $83.88. Even if it didn't win, that still got to be a number that they're happy with, especially since this seemed like a collection of webcomics. But before we get into number one, I've got some honourable mentions, because there's some titles that I feel like most people will have already heard of, and you're just wondering where exactly these rank. The Darkness Complete Collection Volume 1 didn't even break into the top 100. It managed to get 1,585 backers, who pledged an average of $88.42 to bring the total pledge to $140,150. The reason I'm including these is because these are the titles that I've heard of, but obviously it's just clear that there's so much power in webcomics and indie comics that maybe I haven't necessarily heard of. Another example is the one ranked 98th because it's curse words the whole damn thing. This managed to get exactly 1,600 backers who pledged an average of $88.85, meaning that the total was $142,155. And at number 31, we've got Michael Turner Creations. This was created in honour of an artist who had unfortunately died, he managed to get 1,388 backers who pledged an average of $198.48, meaning that the total, even if it didn't get into the top 15, was a staggering $275,496. But number one, and you can probably already guess which one this is, because it managed to get $1.447 million from 14,571 backers, it had an average of $99.32 per backer, and of course you've probably already guessed it already, it's Berserker by Keanu Reeves, Matt Kent and Ron Garney. But yes, Boom Studios' first attempt at Kickstarters is also the most successful in comic book kickstarting history. It'll be interesting to see if in the coming weeks if Power Rangers manages to knock that off the top slot, especially with the fact that he's already got a higher average per backer. But that's the list and who knows, this time next year it could look completely different. Power Rangers could end up taking the number one spot. Which yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'd be really happy about. But it's just so impressive how much money a title can get just through Kickstarter because there's so many titles that I hadn't heard of that maybe people hadn't been able to give a chance to before, or webcomics that had never seen a physical release, but because of Kickstarter, they've now had that opportunity. And for anybody wondering, I did go one step further, the most successful single issue of the last decade was Star Wars issue 1 by Jason Aaron. And as far as I can see, it's the only book that managed to sell over a million, because it got 1.073 million units sold. And with a cover price of $4.99, it managed to bring in over $5 million in sales. So comparatively, when you're thinking about it, the most successful Kickstarter of all time only managed to get just shy of a quarter of the figure that was made by a single issue. But then again, Star Wars always sells, so I'm not sure what point I'm making there. But anyway, that's the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you've ever backed a Kickstarter, let me know in the comment section below which one it was. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, why did you get this far? If you're new here, you couldn't join the Dog Pound at a better time, so make sure you get your paws all over that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you never miss a video. Again, I know it's cheeky, but I have to try my luck. But if you could share this video in your Facebook groups or your Twitter page, your Instagram, or on Reddit, 
that would really help the channel and it is greatly appreciated. And this is just a topic that I feel like anybody can enjoy, so why not help your boy out? But I've got my social media links up there and my Twitter handle down below, and we've also got our own Reddit page, r slash comic community. I've got Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to help the channel out, because it is greatly appreciated. But that's all I've got to say for now, except for to stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find, and stay mad all you dogs. Woof woof! See you at the next video.